हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस इलेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ मॉडलिंग इन माया फॉर बिगनर्स सो वॉट वी गोइंग टू डू इन दिस लेक्चर इज वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द न्यू टूल और न्यू टूल कॉल्ड बेबल टूल विच विल बी यूज टू स्मूथ दीज एजेस ओके राइट नाउ दीज एजेस आर क्वाइट हार्ड एंड वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट हार्ड बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज दीज एजेस आर क्वाइट स्मूथ ओके सो फर्स्ट वॉट वी गोइंग टू डू इज go into uh, this custom tab and go into edit mesh hold control shift and click on bevel what happened is uh, when we went on this custom tab and uh, who we held control shift and uh, click this bevel icon what happened is uh, an icon came into this custom tab so what uh, this custom tab means is whatever icon we want uh, to which will help in our modeling process we will add this in our custom shelf so that's why uh, i added this in in this shelf you can also add any icon using this process only like you you can go to my edit mesh and go to here on bridge tool and click control plus shift plus click and it will come here so now we have added this uh, in our uh, custom tab now what we are going to do is we are going to go in the edge mode after we have went into the edge mode what we are going to select are we going to select these two edges because we want these two edges to be smooth out and now we we'll click on web bevel and now you can see that uh, this object this edge has become bevel but we yet haven't got our desired shape we want that bevel to be very small and to be a very very smooth so what we're going to do this go a, do is go to the channel box go inside inputs inside poly bevel click on t and you will get this uh, tool box kind of thing okay so now what we want is we want to decrease the fraction decreasing the fraction will you know decrease the effect that, to that uh, bevel so and uh, you are seeing that this bevel is yet quite rough we want to add more curvature to it so what we are going to do is we are going to increase the segments so let us increase it by one and one more and as you as we are increasing the segments you can see that this edge has become more smooth we can add one more segment and you can see that our edge has become very smooth now go to object mode and you can see that our edge has become quite smooth similarly uh you can you have you can do this on this object go to edge mode select these two edges click on bevel click t increase the decrease of fraction uh in the last bevel it was uh, 0.17 so i will keep 0.17 and increase the segments to 4 okay so now you can see that our edge has become quite smooth and we became what we wanted uh, so yeah what we have learned uh, in this lecture is uh, how to bevel uh, the edges of anything you can bevel anything you can bevel these edges also you can select multiple edges and bevel it in one way okay so after we have beveled uh, you guys might face some problem like you are increasing the fraction it is becoming too fast increasing too fast the reason is your pie chart would be somewhere here okay and now if you increase the fraction will increase by lo uh, um, lot okay so what you want is try to keep this uh, blue circle uh, as much less as you can not too much less not too large uh, somewhere in the middle so that when you uh, increase or decrease the fraction you can easily do it okay so 
we have learned this bevel tool and we have beveled this stool and it is looking quite good and now what if we want to uh, save this scene so before we save this scene we can see that uh, in this outliner we have got multiple cubes right but what we want is to save it in a more structured manner like if the right now you won't have much of a problem but when you want to have you know multiple models and multiple you will use multiple cubes edges surfaces these kind of things so you want to structure these uh, uh, cubes in a you want to keep these models in a structured manner so what uh, i'm going to show you a few methods by which you, are, you can you know change these things so if you want to rename this cube you can double click on this and after double clicking you can change the name i will select leg 1 leg 2 So I have modeled all of my uh, uh, these legs as leg 1, leg 2, leg 3, leg 4. Uh, I will also rename these as mediator 1, 2, 3, 4. Also, I would suggest you to try to name uh, these things like you will remember even after a lot of time you will remember what each of these uh, names signify. I will also name these two tops. So now you can see that I have uh, renamed all of these uh, cubes. Uh, like what I want okay but what if you want to you know have a separate group of these uh, legs like you know these all are legs so you why don't we keep inside a folder kind of thing so what you can do is click on leg 1 and shift and click on leg 4 and it will select all the middle uh, models and now you have to press Ctrl plus G. What it will do is create a new group. And then you can rename it Lex. Okay. So now if you select this Lex, you can uh, select all of the Lex. And all of the le individual uh, um, objects are inside this Lex group. Okay. You can also directly select here from here also. And... If you are uh, in, if you have selected uh, this uh, uh, leg, and if you want to select the whole group, all you have to do is just press the upper arrow, and all of the uh, you will what it mainly does is you will be redirected to the upper hierarchy. So earlier we had selected this leg one, and when I press upper arrow key all of the it will go to the upper hierarchy and in the upper hierarchy all the legs are there so all of the legs are selected here uh, what if we want to go in the lower hierarchy we can simply press the uh, bottom arrow key and it will go in the lower hierarchy okay so now we know how to create uh, these you know uh, groups so uh, what i will do is create all of the groups for each of these things I would always suggest that uh, you always structure your models because this is the most important part because when we uh, reference uh, open this model in future we want this model to to be structured and how it will be in our use okay so we have created all of this and I will at last create the group of this all of these three groups and I will rename it as stool. So now after you have uh, 
um, name grouped this tool and you have completed this model now you want to save this scene so before saving this scene I want you to do one thing is to set your project what setting your project means is it will structure your project in a very good manner so I want to say set this project as say lessons okay I uh, then I click enter and set uh, uh, it has it is showing that uh, this has got no you know workspace so you, you can click on create default workspace after this go to project window and click on accept okay now uh, you, you have to save this scene okay so go to file and save scene as and now you see that uh, you have created this tutorial uh, you have set this project as tutorial so now so you have been directly redirected into scenes folder it's it is because you have created that you have set that project you are being able to uh, directly go inside this scenes folder now uh, you can name anything like I will name it as tool and now what Maya does is it will ask you what type of file so save it as Maya binary and then click on save as okay and now your uh, scene will be saved uh, and now I, I want to show you that how will that saved uh, and now I have to show you that how will that saved uh, project will look like okay open my open Maya lectures I have, we have selected tutorial so click on tutorial and now go to scenes and you will see that stool.mb uh, binary file has been uh, saved this scene file has been saved so what this setting the project means uh, creates is that it creates a lot of folders and you can use these folders to structure your project like this source images is used to store the reference images and this images is used to store the rendered images okay similarly scenes folder is used to store scenes okay so yeah this was the end of this video and uh, i hope you like this video if you liked uh, the if you have any problems you can easily ask me in this comment section and i will be more than happy to answer you